Hey everyone. For those who've been following the Atlas saga, we have explosive news. The object passed perihelion on October 29th, and man, things got even stranger. We're talking about non-gravitational acceleration, trajectory deviations, and observations that are leaving even Harvard's Avi Loeb impressed. Let's get straight to what matters. On October 29th, when Atlas passed closest to our star, the ALMA telescope made a disturbing discovery. The object was four arc seconds off from its predicted position. That might sound small, but in space that's very significant. This indicates non-gravitational acceleration, meaning some force beyond our star's gravity was acting on Atlas. And look, this isn't normal for a regular comet. Additionally, the Solar Observatory's Stereo, Soho and Go-19 captured something unprecedented. Atlas brightened in a way never seen before and became bluer than our star itself. This is the ninth official anomaly of this object, but here's the crucial point that could change everything. If Atlas were a natural comet experiencing this acceleration, it would have had to lose at least 15% of its total mass. We're talking about more than 5 billion tons of material that should be floating around it in a gigantic cloud. And here we reach the moment of truth. On December 19th, 2025, just a few weeks away, Atlas will pass closest to Earth. If it really lost all that mass, it would be impossible not to detect that debris cloud. If this cloud isn't found, we'll have the 10th anomaly, an object that accelerates without losing mass. And that, my friends, would be something completely outside what we know about comet physics. One fascinating thing Loeb mentions is that this proximity to our star created a unique opportunity to study gravitational lensing effects. Basically, our star's gravity bends the light coming from Atlas, and this could give us additional information about its true nature. His calculation shows a deflection of 0.27 arc seconds, small but measurable. Now, for those just joining or wanting to remember this incredible story, let's go through everything we know about Atlas, because this isn't just another comet story. It's potentially one of the most important discoveries in human history. 3I Atlas is the third confirmed interstellar object we know of. The others were the famous Oumuamua in 2017 and Comet Borisov in 2019. But Atlas is radically different from anything we've ever seen. First, the size. We're talking about an object that's a million times more massive than Oumuamua and a thousand times larger than Borisov. To get an idea of the scale, if Oumuamua were a ping-pong ball, Atlas would be the size of a multi-story building. But it's not just the size. It also moves faster than the other two interstellar objects. Statistically, the chance of an object being simultaneously so large and so fast is less than 0.1%. It's like finding a person who's both the tallest and fastest runner in the world. Now let's go through the nine anomalies that make Atlas something completely out of the ordinary. First anomaly, impossible trajectory probability, 0.2%. Atlas is moving in a retrograde trajectory opposite to the planet's motion. That alone wouldn't be so strange. But here's the problem. This trajectory is aligned within five degrees of the solar system's ecliptic plane. Imagine this. It's like someone shooting a basketball backwards and having it go exactly through the center of the hoop. The probability of this happening naturally is only 0.2%. Second anomaly, the solar jet, unprecedented. Between July and August 2025, Atlas developed something never seen before, a jet pointing directly toward our star. This is the complete opposite of what comets do. When comets approach our star, heat vaporizes the ice and creates a tail that always points away from the star, pushed by solar wind. It's basic physics, but Atlas did the opposite. It created an anti-tail pointing toward our star. This defies our understanding of how icy objects behave in space. Third anomaly, size and speed probability is less than 0.1%. As mentioned, Atlas is gigantic compared to other interstellar objects, but it's also faster. In nature, larger objects tend to move slower due to energy conservation. If it's like comparing a truck to a motorcycle, the bigger one is normally slower. Fourth anomaly, perfect timing probability, 0.05%. This is perhaps the most statistically impressive Atlas arrived at the exact moment to pass within tens of millions of kilometers of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, while also becoming completely invisible from Earth during its perihelion. To understand how improbable this is, imagine throwing three darts simultaneously and hitting three different targets 
while a fourth person turns their back at the exact right moment. The probability is 0.05%, 5 in 100,000. Fifth anomaly, strange metallic composition probability is less than 1%. Spectroscopic analyses revealed that Atlas has a much higher nickel to iron ratio than any known comet. Even stranger, this ratio resembles the metallic alloys we produce industrially here on Earth. Natural comets have well-defined metal proportions that reflect the primordial composition of the solar system where they formed. Atlas completely breaks this pattern. Sixth anomaly, lack of water, highly unusual. Comets are basically dirty snowballs. Most of their mass is water ice, but Atlas has only 4% water by mass. For comparison, it's like finding an iceberg that's 96% rock. This is so unusual it challenges our basic definition of what a comet is. Seventh anomaly, extreme negative polarization probability is less than 1%. When starlight hits Atlas and is reflected, it shows an extreme negative polarization pattern that has never been observed in any other comet, including Borisov, which we know is natural. Polarization is basically how light waves orient themselves. It's as if Atlas is twisting light in a way that no natural materials simply don't do. Eighth anomaly, wow signal direction probability, 0.6%. Atlas came from a direction that coincides within just nine degrees of the origin of the famous wow signal, that mysterious radio signal captured in 1977 that many consider the best evidence of extraterrestrial communication ever detected. Nine degrees might seem like a lot, but in the context of interstellar space, it's like two cars passing through the same intersection just minutes apart. Ninth anomaly, impossible blue brightness, recently discovered. Near perihelion, Atlas brightened more intensely than any known comet and became bluer than our star itself. This is physically very difficult to explain with normal cometary materials. And now we come to what could be the tenth anomaly. As explained earlier, the non-gravitational acceleration detected by ALMA implies that Atlas lost a massive amount of material, more than 5 billion tons. If this really happened, there should be a gigantic debris cloud around the object. In December, when it passes closest to Earth, it will be impossible not to detect this cloud if it exists. If the cloud isn't found, we'll have an object that accelerates without losing mass, something that violates our current understanding of comet physics. As you can imagine, all of this is generating enormous controversy in the scientific community. Professor Avi Loeb, one of the world's leading authorities in astrophysics and a Harvard professor, is suggesting we need to seriously consider the possibility that Atlas isn't completely natural. Loeb isn't categorically stating it's aliens, he's being scientifically rigorous. When you have data that doesn't fit existing theories, you need to consider new hypotheses, however extraordinary they may be. The criticism he receives is for being too speculative, but Loeb responds that science has always advanced by questioning established paradigms. Galileo was criticized for suggesting Earth revolved around our star. Einstein was ridiculed for his theory of relativity. What's interesting is that Loeb is applying exactly the scientific method. He presents the data, calculates probabilities, and says we need more evidence to reach a definitive conclusion. If Atlas really is something artificial or technological, the implications would be revolutionary. We're not just talking about extraterrestrial life. We're talking about a technologically advanced civilization that can send objects through interstellar space. But even if the final explanation is natural, some new type of object we didn't know about, this would still be a monumental scientific discovery that would expand our understanding of the universe. The next few months will be absolutely crucial for solving this mystery. December observations, when Atlas passes closest to Earth, will give us definitive data on several of these anomalies. If we don't find the expected debris cloud, we'll be facing the tenth anomaly. If we do find it, at least one question will be resolved, but we'll still have eight other anomalies to explain. Regardless of the outcome, Atlas has already forever changed our perspective on what's possible in the universe. We're living through a potentially historic moment. Whatever the final explanation, New natural phenomenon, technology of unknown origin or something we can't even imagine yet, Atlas is forcing us to question our most basic assumptions about the cosmos. And the most fascinating thing is, we don't need to wait decades for answers.
The next few months will give us concrete data that could resolve at least part of this mystery. So what do you all think about this whole story? Strange comet, alien technology, or something completely new? December promises to be epic.